You mind? Way ahead of you. Bianca says the treasure is ours. Good. You found the key. Let's collect the best pieces we can carry out of here and then go. I'd say this is our way back. How long to get back? If we're unlucky, maybe a week. And if we're lucky? We stumble over Bartrand's corpse on the way. <laughs> Sweet home. Finally. Oh, I wonder if Bartrand came back to the city. You think I'd be that lucky? Luck hasn't exactly been our strong point so far. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> the treasure we found in that crypt far outstrips Bartrand's stupid idol. He'll be green with envy when he finds out. As soon as I get the chance, I'll look up my contacts to make sure we get the best price. I imagine you'll want to head home, tell your family the good news. We're going to be rich. What's going on? Please don't do anything. Mistress Bethany is being taken to the Circle of Magi in the gallows. The gallows is horrible. You can't go there. I have to. That's where the apostates go, isn't it? Consider yourselves fortunate. The Viscount has requested we spare your family the punishment for harboring a dangerous mage. Oh, Bethany. What will happen to you? Don't worry, Mother. I'll be fine. Look after her, big brother. So the champion's sister was in the circle. Yes, but that's not the connection you're looking for. Isn't it? Driven from their home, a sister taken against her will, and the champion's companions, Meryl, Aveline, Isabella, that warden Anders. Don't remind me. I introduced them. We thought they all came from Ferelden together, but now it makes sense. Motive and opportunity. It's still not what you think. Then I need to hear more. Unless you've already decided. I can always go if you don't need me anymore. Tell me what came next. The treasure we found in the Deep Roads made us a fortune. The champion moved up in the world. Literally. Bought a mansion in Hightown. 
Everyone knew who he was now. Even the Viscount was taking notice. Bethany was in the circle now. There was nothing we could do for her. Poor girl. Three years later, the Kunari still had the rest. The Kunari insisted they were waiting for their ship. But some of us knew better. compound was not meant to be permanent. There are concerns the Kunari influence is no longer contained. Was it ever? Kirkwall has tension enough between Templar and Mage. But these Kunari, they sit like gargoyles waiting for Maker knows what and everyone goes mad around them. Nearly four years I've stood between fanatics. And now, this. Don't keep us in suspense. Leave us. Meredith at my throat, Orsino at my heels, and a city scared of heretical giants. Balance has held because the Conari ask for nothing. Even the space in Lowtown was a gift to contain them. But now, the Arishok has requested you. By name. What did you do? I can't help it if I make an impression. Apparently not. I remember how you helped my son. It seems you are meant to have influence above your station. Speak to the Arishok. Give him what he needs to keep the peace. Can you do that for Kirkwall, Sir Arhor? I've seen hate for them, but I haven't heard anything major in years. Zealots are bravest where their lies can't be argued, behind closed doors. Chantry leaders see Konari beliefs as a challenge, not an attack. But the message gets muddled among casual adherents. I'm certainly not equipped to argue the fine points of faith. Have the years been kind to Seamus? He is his own man. But your actions tempered him somewhat. He's not so angry at the world. I thank you for that. I may not agree with him on many things, but uh, I am proud of what he is becoming. The Canari usually arrive as conquerors. Odd that this has gone on so long. Very, and I have no interest in antagonizing them. That is partially why I suffer being a messenger today. A treaty exists, and it has been honored. Although, uh, You have doubts. They claim they're waiting for a second ship. But it has been three years. They want something else. Sounds like you'd be better off without this headache. They will not leave, and we don't have the resources to force the issue. At least... Not in a way that would leave the city intact. If they had come to conquer, I suspect they would have done so. Any idea what I can expect? None. Honestly, I don't think I've heard two direct words from the Arishok. Other than his rather deliberate phrasing of... Begone. If you think he's asking me to notify you of this is strange... Well... You would be right. Is this a paid position? I'm somewhat in demand. 
You've served yourself, built a fortune. I give you that. But if you, and only you, cannot calm this situation, I fear the only reliable investment will be in swords and armor. Serve your city, and then we will talk about what you are due. The Arishok is waiting. Make... what a mess. <laughs>